kids, welcome back to Teacher Shea's channel. Join me in a day of fun and learning. Hi kids, our lesson for today is about the degrees of adjectives. Adjectives are words that describe persons, places, things, animals, and events. They tell something about a noun. Adjectives have three degrees of comparisons. These are the positive degree, comparative, and superlative degree. The positive degree signifies quality. It talks about only one thing and it is not being compared with another. The comparative degree signifies quality in greater or less degree. Two things are being compared. The superlative degree signifies quality in the greatest or least degree. Three or more items are being compared. In this lesson, you are expected to use degrees of adjectives in making comparisons. To start our lesson for today, I want you to read and study the conversation you see in your screen and be prepared to answer the questions afterwards. Did you understand the conversation that you have read? Now let me see if you do. I want you to try to answer the following questions. Who are talking in the conversation? Excellent! The persons talking in the conversation are Billy and Jenny. Second question. What are being compared in the conversation? Good job! Plants are being compared in the conversation. Third question, which plant is big? Very good! The big plant is the plant which is held by Billy. Fourth question, what did Jenny say about the plant in the round pot? Excellent! She said it is bigger than Billy's plant. Last question, how did Jenny describe the plant in the rectangular pot? Good job! She described it by saying that it is the biggest among the three. For your first activity, I want you to write the comparative and superlative degree of each adjective which describe the pictures that I will show you. For number one, the comparative and superlative degree of the adjective big is bigger and biggest. For number two, the comparative and superlative degree of the adjective sweet are sweeter and sweetest. And for our last picture, the comparative and superlative degree of the adjective thick is thicker and thickest. Now, let us discuss how do we form the comparison of adjectives. For one syllable adjective, we add ER at the end of the base form of the adjective to form its comparative degree. For example, the word weak to form its comparative degree, we add ER which makes it weaker. Near, nearer. For its superlative degree, we simply add EST at the end of the base form of the adjective. For example, weak plus EST is equal to weakest, near, nearest. Now, for adjectives ending in Y, we change Y to I and add ER to the positive degree to form its comparative degree. And we change Y to I and add EST at the end of the base form of the adjective to form its superlative degree. For example, dirty, dirtier, dirtiest. 
pretty, prettier, prettiest. For adjectives ending in E, we simply drop E and add ER at the end of the base form of the adjective to form its comparative degree and add EST at the end of the base form of the adjective to form its superlative degree. For example, safe, safer, safest, large, larger, largest. For multisyllable adjectives, or more, or for adjectives ending in full or less, we simply add more or less at the beginning of the base form of the adjective to form its comparative degree. And we add most or least at the beginning of the base form of the adjective to form its superlative degree. For example, afraid, more afraid, most afraid. Or we can say afraid, less afraid, least afraid. Silent, more silent, most silent. Or silent, less silent, and least silent. And for our last example, we have talented, more talented, and most talented. Or we can simply say talented, less talented, and least talented. Some one-syllable adjectives with a single vowel before the consonant form their comparative and superlative degree by doubling the last letter before adding ER for the comparative and EST for the superlative degree. For example, we have the word mad, madder, maddest, sad, sadder, saddest, big, bigger, and biggest, and fat, Fatter, fattest. The word than is often used with comparative adjectives. For example, my jacket is thicker than your jacket. The word da before an adjective signifies superlative degree. For example, she is the cutest among the three. Did you understand our lesson for today? Let me check if you do. For your second activity, I want you to choose the correct form of adjective for each sentence and then write your answers in your English notebook. Number one, this milkshake is blank. What is the correct adjective? Is it sweet, sweeter, or sweetest? Excellent! The correct answer is sweet. This milkshake is sweet. Number two, Tarshir remains the blank primate in the Philippines, which is the correct adjective. Is it small, smaller, or smallest? Good job! The correct answer is smallest. Tarshir remains the smallest primate in the Philippines. Number three, my uncle is the blank man in our town, which is the correct adjective. Is it rich, richer, or richest? Very good. The correct answer is richest. My uncle is the richest man in our town. Number four, today's weather is blank than yesterday, which is the correct adjective. Is it cloudy? Cloudier or cloudiest? Excellent! The correct answer is cloudier. Today's weather is cloudier than yesterday. And number five, the sound of the chirping bird is blank than the sound of crickets, which is the correct adjective. Is it pleasant, more pleasant, or most pleasant? Good job! The correct answer is more pleasant. The sound of the chirping bird is more pleasant 
than the sound of crickets. For your third activity, I want you to complete the story by supplying each blank with the correct form of the given adjectives. Here is the story. Thank you for watching today's video. Hope to see you in our next class.